Hi, this is Noma Dimitri and I'm next to this prehistoric ladder um, that I'm going to try to fix. You know I really like handmade things and industrial things and so friends and neighbors often bring me stuff that they find in their old barns. So one of the things that I got was this ladder. Check it out. It's a long nice ladder, completely handmade, probably a hundred or a hundred something years old. Uh, that was left to rot in a barn and all the rungs of the ladder as you can see these ones are almost out I just put it together because they're all rotten um, This was from the age before Nails and screws because these things were expensive. They were metals so people would actually just like make the holes You know you can see right here over here. They would make the holes and then they would shape the wood enough by by hand tools of course in order to be able to stick the thing in the holes and then they would have a ladder and it would last forever and ever um, then you know these people died and other people brought the barns and they didn't really have much use about these things so they left them somewhere in the yard and the rain got to them and they rotted so it is with this staircase so the two long pieces of wood they still have quite a few decades to go before they completely rot but the rungs of the ladder are all rotten so I have to make new ones so what do I do how do I do that so the first thing I do is you know in the garden there are many trees and they make branches that sometimes you don't like very much so you cut these branches out um, in pruning them in pruning the trees you cut these branches out because they're just going to a place you don't want them to go so for example yesterday I have some walnut trees and I pruned this branch from a walnut tree. Now you know that walnut is nice wood. Um, so this, in fact you can see the little walnut right over here. Here it is. Here's the little walnut. Uh, dead now of course because I chopped the tree off. I chopped the branch off. So I chopped this nice branch off and walnut is a nice wood and you know there's a fairly straight piece of wood right here. Uh, which I can use as one of the rungs. So that's that's how they used to do it. That's how I'm gonna do it So how do you do that? The first thing you do is you have an axe uh, And with this axe, this is the axe and with this axe you have to get rid of all the branches that are coming kind of coming out So you just like this branch over here wait Hopefully I'm not gonna lope of a finger. So what you do is It's very simple. You just go with the with the shape of the tree and you just kind of lop off these things, pop it off. So until you get the pure branch. Once you get the branch, there's a magical part. Um, you need to use a tool. I have no idea what this tool is called. I'll show it to you, it's kind of weird. So it's this. So it's a blade with two round things to hold on to. So you hold this thing uh, with your two hands and with the blade, hold, hold on, you hold it like this. And with the blade, you just push it down the, the, the branch. What this does, it's very difficult to do this with one hand and not do it at the same time. But basically what you do is you scratch out the skin of the branch. Um, which when the branch is freshly cut, is fairly easy to do. So you scratch it out and here you can see that I'm going to bring it right over. So here, I'm going to show you what it looks like. See. I've scratched out the, the skin of the branch. Now, because this is fresh, I can actually kind of pull the damn thing off. And I can kind of dig even with my nails, I'll show you, and kind of expose the beautiful flesh of the walnut. So I'm going to show it to you a little more. It's difficult to do it from this position, but there we go. So you just kind of peel the damn thing off. You see, it just peels off completely easily there is this this the 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 kind of the cover the bark uh, and it just peels off and you have beautiful white wood now once I finish do this I'll show you a finished product because it's gonna take us forever to do this on video then this thing I'll show you of a walking stick I just made the other day from the same wood you get this beautiful beautiful solid white wood thing that just can last forever uh, you can see how thick it is here versus my hands, you know, it's about as thick as a, I don't know, a two euro coin or a, a quarter, a US quarter, 
25 cents. Um, and there it is, perfectly smooth. I didn't do anything. I didn't oil it, I didn't sand it or anything else. I just peeled off the bark. Uh, and this is still fairly fresh, uh, but it's gonna dry out with time. It's better to dry slowly, so you leave it at room temperature in your room. And then you have a walking steak, or in my case, you have new rungs to put on your staircase, on your ladder, and then you have a new ladder that's gonna last forever and ever again. Anyways, Nova Dimitri kind of playing with toys on this beautiful sunny summer day. Take care.